I'd like to introduce uh, Glenn Takahashi, distinguished member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2006. Congratulations, Glenn. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, and you, you've had a, a lengthy career, both as an athlete and especially as a coach. Who are some of those individuals that had the greatest influence on you and your career? I'd have to say my father. Uh, <laughs> It's been a tough week. Um, we just lost my father Tuesday, but uh, for the last week I've been thinking a lot about him and his life and what he represented to a lot of people. But to me, he was obviously my mentor, my, my, my friend, my coach. He didn't ever wrestle himself, but uh, everybody who knew him was, was impressed by his competitiveness. Uh, he certainly didn't like to lose. He was uh, a person who loved life to the fullest. And he, he lived it for 85 years. So maybe this time of reflecting back has, has been a, a lesson for myself and my whole family. And that goes beyond my immediate family to the wrestling family and everybody. So we're in the middle of of dealing with that, but uh, certainly I'd have to say it was my father who, who had the biggest impact on my life and who I am. Thanks. Uh, who was your idol in the sport of wrestling when you were growing up, Glenn, when you were getting started? I would have to say I have several idols. As a young wrestler and as a coach, I've tried to become a student of the sport. And I spent some time with uh, Dan Hodge. And I've certainly spent some time with uh, one of his contemporaries, Ned Blass. I, I appreciate some of the accomplishments of the pioneers in the sport of wrestling. And, and I think Hodge and Blass are, are an example of what the sport is all about. Hodge, of course, was such a natural specimen that everything came easy for him, whether it's boxing, wrestling, but he was just a tremendous champion. Blass, on the other hand, was a, was a champion who was almost self-made, did not have that natural strength and athletic ability, yet he was every bit as accomplished. So I think some of these guys, of course, nowadays they you throw in there the Dan Gables, and even some of the current wrestlers, the... Uh, Kale Sanderson's, mm -hmm. the Abbases, some of these guys. I, I think I'm I'm a fan of a lot of the people who made wrestling what it is today. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to say uh, there are quite a few idols that I have you bet. in the sport. What got you started in the sport, Glenn? When I was in junior high, I was a late wrestler. Uh, in junior high, my cousins. Uh, were wrestling for a local rec club and they dragged me along and uh, having worked out and, and wrestled with with cousins that you're close to obviously I'd have to say my cousin started me in it we had some success right away uh, the, the cousin I'm referring to is Dan Keto who was a couple time All-American he's done some coaching and so Definitely my cousins got me involved in the sport of wrestling. That's great. What, what aspect of your character, Glenn, would uh, help you be so successful both as an athlete and a coach? I'd have to say that um, I believe the reason I've been successful as a coach is because I can honestly tell you that I've, I've left every minute of it. I believe I'm a person who truly cares for my athletes as well as all the people involved in, in our sport. Um, I think I got this part from my father is that uh, he loved people. He loved being around people. He loved having a great time. And for me, I picked up a lot of that love of my fellow human beings probably. Um, is one of my strongest points, and, and uh, certainly a lot of the kids that have wrestled for us, I believe this is what has made me a successful coach and teacher. Yeah, I'm sure that's a big part of it. 
what memory uh, would serve as like your your favorite memory throughout your career? There are there's several that I would have to say, and I think it's that as coaches we all have similar memories. But you know, it's it's not necessarily that championship or that state title that somebody won here. And there. I think we do it, at least most of us and myself. It might be that sophomore kid who who earns his varsity letter and he is just on cloud nine. Mm -hmm. He may, as a matter of fact, some of my favorite past wrestlers were not the champions. Some of them were the kids who had very little athletic talent, who worked harder than, than most people and had a minimum amount of success, but for their effort, they were truly champions. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we believe that the lessons they learn from our sport and us is that these are what make you want to win. And, and so certainly those would be some of my, my favorite memories, that, that freshman who wasn't expected to even get off the mat, who, who won the match for your team or won the league title or a CIF title. Those are the, the memories that, that are fondest in my, my <laughs> wrestling career. Is there one match that sticks out in your mind as your... As a competitor, it's probably a match in the Oklahoma State Finals in 1970. I was wrestling Daryl Keller, who eventually went on to be a national champ and the outstanding wrestler, and I was beating him for two periods. And I think that Oklahoma crowd and the whole thing maybe got to me. I ended up losing that match. I think that lesson was a, a lesson that helped me become a better coach, understanding how to maintain and, and, and how to handle the pressure as a coach working with athletes that, that a failure in my career as a wrestler gotcha. at that point in time was a very good lesson. So that's probably one of the, the memories, and, and I don't think it's necessarily all that bad. It, it mm. taught some serious lessons about the sport. No, definitely. What made you decide to go into coaching as a career plan? As a junior in high school, when you're in your high school career, you're thinking about college, you're thinking about your future, and I don't know, we had a career day or something, and, and I was certainly watching my coaches and some of my teachers, and uh, I had a... a a wrestling coach at the time who was not a wrestler he was a basketball player and a football player in his youth but he taught me some lessons about life and I I really admired this gentleman I admired his lifestyle and the effect that he had on kids and so at a very young age I decided you know what I think I'm gonna be a wrestling coach and a teacher and so from that point on, I, I knew I was going to be a coach and a teacher, so that's how I chose this profession. Would you change anything, Glenn? I, after all these years, would you do anything differently than what you've done? Truthfully, I believe I wouldn't. I've, we've certainly had success. I've, I've got an extended wrestling family that that are here supporting us tonight. I've got a loving family. I truly believe that uh, I have a full, rich, very wealthy life, and I don't think I would change anything. It's wrestling been very good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. And you've been good to it as well. What would you like people to remember about Glenn Takahashi? It's, it's what I alluded to a little earlier. I would like people to remember me as just simply a, a person who tried to do the best we could in this sport and, uh, and a person who truly does care and, and love the athletes, the, the program, the, the parents. Uh, my parents and my athletes have taught me some tremendous lessons about life. And as I said before, some of my favorite athletes were not necessarily the most successful wrestlers. They were just wonderful people who, who learned a whole lot about life from our sport and are tremendously successful in life. 
as adults or as young adults. So again, I hope my legacy is, is as a coach who loved what he did and cared about our athletes and, and, and tried to promote the sport in all ways, statewide, nationally, worldwide, and, and basically is, is someone who, who loved what he's done for, for all these years. Well, if that's the case, I'm sure it's a job well done. I mean, I've certainly seen that through the years. Thank you. And uh, we want to congratulate you for your induction into the Hall of Fame, Glenn. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you very much.